Have you ever pondered why we lie? How does this seemingly simple act affect our brains? And what ripple effects does it have on our society? Today, we delve into the fascinating world of the neuroscience of lying. The act of lying is not just a social phenomenon, but also a neurological one. It affects both the individual who lies and the individual who becomes the target of the lie. From a neuroscience perspective, this activity involves multiple brain processes and can have long-term consequences. Consider the person who lies. There's an emotional regulation and stress facet to lying. Often associated with high emotional tension, lying activates the brain's stress response systems. Over time, this could affect both emotional and physical health. There's also an aspect of reward system. Lying can trigger a temporary sense of reward, stimulating the brain's dopamine system. However, this fleeting feeling of gain can create a false motivation to continue the lying behavior. Long-term lying can reduce empathy and social connections. It can diminish the ability to feel empathy for others and disrupt the ability to form and maintain healthy social relationships. Now, what about the person on the receiving end of the lie? They may experience stress and trauma. Perceiving false assertions as personal attacks can trigger severe emotional stress and even cause trauma. Lies can lead to a loss of trust, not just in the specific individual, but in others as a whole. Prolonged exposure to lying can affect self-esteem and self-worth, leading to enduring psychological issues. Research on lying is complex and multifaceted. It involves the activation of specific regions of the frontal cortex, such as the ventrolateral prefrontal cortex, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex, and the superior temporal sulcus. This highlights the complex cognitive nature of lying. Social and psychological aspects also come into play. Lies are often a response to social situations and can be motivated by threats to personal, relational, or collective identity. They involve a desire to deceive and are influenced by biological, personal, and situational factors. Certain linguistic indicators, such as the frequency and duration of saying, um, can indicate deception versus truth-telling in speech. Advancements in lie detection have been significant, with research exploring neuroimaging, neurostimulation, and multimodal systems that combine visual, acoustic, and EEG information. Understanding lies also requires considering cultural and historical contexts, as these change across different societies and times. In conclusion, lying is a multifaceted behavior involving neurological, social, psychological, linguistic, and cultural aspects. Understanding lying requires a comprehensive approach that includes these varying aspects. From the perspective of Rigabrain registered trademark, it's crucial to work on self-regulation of brain activity rather than focusing on symptoms or diagnoses. In this context, dynamical neurofeedback registered trademark could help individuals suffering from the effects of lying to restore emotional balance and improve self-regulation abilities. Neurooptimal registered trademark systems could help individuals develop better stress management skills and promote emotional well-being. Overall, understanding lying from a neuroscience perspective reveals a complex interplay between emotional, social, and biological aspects, indicating the need to pay attention to both causes and effects for a more holistic understanding. So the next time you think of telling a little white lie, consider the bigger picture. The brain, it turns out, is an intricate storyteller, and the stories we tell ourselves and others can have profound impacts.